Hey y'all, uh, I'm going to try to do this quickly because it'll only let me record so long. I want to tell you about uh, two dreams I've had. One dream was over 20 years ago. My girls were little. Um, they're grown, married, have children now. And we were, there was this building kind of thing and um, I could see inside and it had chairs all around the uh, the like benches around the circumference. It was round. And um, I remember I just, I was like, yes. And so I went in and my girls were with me and we were sitting on the bench and I could see outside the doors. And my, my husband then, we're divorced now, but my husband then, he's outside the door and I kept saying, please, please come in, come in. And my sister, my oldest sister, I could see her and they were outside and they would look at me and they kept refusing. I was like, please, please come in. I remember waking up crying and just broken. They would not listen. Um, this is so long ago, it might have been even before 9-11, um, whatever year that was, 2001. Um, so anyway, recently I've heard about the Revelation 12 sign, and I wanted confirmation. Um, I've known all these years that, that the Lord would pour out His Spirit based on Joel um, and Acts, that young men and women would have dreams and see visions. And um, so I wanted a confirmation. All of a sudden I panicked. I was like, have I done enough? Will I go in the rapture? If the rapture is really getting ready to happen, have I repented enough? Um, this year I have begged my friends I'm always begging people, please read the Word of God. It it tells you who He is. Um, it tells you everything. It's His story. It's He wants us to read it. And I, I keep hearing people quoting Chronicles, except for they leave out the part about turn from your wicked ways. So I wanted confirmation that the, the new... Because I just discovered this oh, quite by accident on YouTube. Uh, I was looking for truth. Um, the truth in the news. The, the truth of what's really going on. And I would go to the Israel channels to see what was going on and stuff. So anyway, um, uh, I prayed. I asked God to, to send me something. A confirmation. A dream. I've had dreams before. Um, and this dream came. And... I was in this big field, there was a big field, um, and there were trees surrounding it, and it was full of people, um, mostly young women and, and little girls, and guess what I was doing? I was getting them ready. There's a wedding. There's a wedding, and we must get ready. I mean, I'm brushing off the dirt, off their little dresses, I'm fixing their hair, I'm washing their little faces. And you don't know this about me, but that's kind of how I have spent most of my life. Um, it turns out God even confirmed that, yes, I pray for the lost, but I am to make disciples. And that has been a burden on my heart. And how better to make disciples than with the Word of God. And so it's still recording. I still have time for Scripture. And let's see, I, I didn't even, um, here, I'm going to give you Psalms, because that's where it turned to. Psalms 91, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Anybody who knows me <laughs> knows. That's just how I have to live my life now. So, um, thank you. I hope this blesses you. Um, there was more to the dream, and maybe I can give it later, but I have a real hard time uploading videos. It takes a really long time. My internet is very slow. Um, I'm surprised that the, the video has gone this long. Um, but I pray God's blessings for you.
I am in prayer. I am looking for him. And um, if, if you don't know Jesus, it's time. You don't have any more time. Repent. Repent. Turn from whatever is holding you, binding you. Let it go. There is nothing more important. There's no preparation more important than your heart and being right with God. It's, it really is true. His word is true. All of it is true. And it's happening. We're seeing all of what he said was going to happen in the last days. It's happening now. I, I'm so... I'm so excited to be a part. I'm so grieved over the people that I know who are claiming the name of Christ and refusing, refusing to read his word to find out for themselves. Maybe, maybe there's somebody that'll hear it in my voice. I don't know. I'm begging you. And and the persecution and the animosity towards me. Oh my gosh, I'm like, do you not realize you are part of the prophecy because of your attack on me? I'm just, God has called me to watch and pray, and I've done both. And I'm telling you, now is the day. Now is the time for your salvation. There's no, we're running out of time. I love you. I don't even know you. Not in person. But there's coming a day. We're going to be at the wedding. And then we're going to be at the wedding feast. It's happening. Please don't ignore all the signs. The eclipse. The hurricanes. The possibility of war coming to America. Us not going to war, but it coming here. Please stop ignoring the signs. Read your Bible. I know you have one. You're, if, especially if you're in the South, we're in the Bible Belt. Everybody's got a Bible. Get it out of your car. Get it off the bookshelf. <laughs> Read. It's our only hope. It's our only peace. It's our only joy. We're going to a wedding. And I hope this will help get you ready.